Over the last two days, we've uh, we've uh, seen about eleven and a half thousand hectares of uh, um, scrub and forest areas in the Adelaide Hills destroyed by fire. A fire which started on Friday afternoon um, and burnt in uh, really extreme uh, weather conditions. Very strong winds, uh, upwards of uh, sixty kilometres an hour, forty plus uh, degrees temperature. Uh, and the relative humidity was down uh, down below five percent on uh, on Friday, and then again yesterday, Saturday, um, crews were working in. It wasn't quite as hot; it was only 39 degrees, not 40 degrees, uh, but the winds were still were still very strong. And then we saw a wind change move across the fire, which brought some relief from the temperature, but the winds are still were uh, still quite strong. And today it's a cooler day. Uh, it's, uh, it's only 30 degrees uh, on the fire ground today, um, but uh, the wind is still uh, still about 25 to 35 kilometres an hour, uh, which uh, we still have two significant areas of concern that are threatening communities. Uh, uh, with a number of uh, settlements have been threatened by the fire, um, but the, the uh, properties that have been destroyed are isolated farming properties throughout the area. So they're small land holdings with... Uh, with a house and then the uh, uh, various sheds uh, on them, where, whether they be uh, um, um, with the stock farming, a number of uh, horses and people with horses uh, have small holdings in the in the in the fire area, uh, type of thing. So it's uh, it has threatened uh, a number of actual settlements or townships, um, but uh, to date we've uh, we've been able to keep those uh, townships safe.